Hey guys, it's Mike Sam. So, um, guess what? I finally decided on a name to my show. I decided I'm going to call it Question with Boldness. Because we're always going to be here questioning with boldness. So, watch out. Alright, today's show we're going to talk about the stimulus, the economy, how much we're in debt, and how the hell we plan on paying for all of this. So come on, what are you waiting for? Let's go to our question with boldness board. Ta-da! Look, I mounted the question with boldness board. So um, the first thing we're going to talk about is unemployment because, gosh, you know, that stimulus pass, so unemployment should be great. Well, that's not the case. All right, as of the last time, Unemployment is now up to 10.8%. That equivalates to 15.7 million Americans who are looking for jobs but cannot find decent employment. There's also 17.5% who are underemployed, which equivalates to about 27 million Americans. So, you know, geez, as far as unemployment goes, that stimulus sure ain't looking too good. Well, geez, now I know what you're like. You're like, oh, Mike Sam, but what about the housing market? It's got to be improving. Come on now. Well, that's where you're wrong. The housing market has an $18 trillion household net worth gone. Gone. Just out the window. Gone. Poof. Vanish. Goodbye. So, what is the stimulus doing as far as unemployment and household work? Nothing. Well, now everyone's like, well, jeez, 18 trillion dollars. That's a lot. And then Fannie and Freddie Mae are like, oh my gosh, we need another 20 billion dollars. Oh, sure, Fanny and Freddy, because Barney Frank can't even fucking run a hot dog stand. So let's give you $20 billion more. Well, let's take a look at all those jobs that were created. According to the government's own recovery.gov, there's been a total of 640,329 jobs saved. Now, what exactly is a safe job. Well, they haven't been able to define that themselves, but let's just go with them. 640,329 safe jobs. Well, so far, the stimulus has spent 194.5 billion dollars. 194.5 billion dollars. Oh my gosh, we spent $194.5 billion. So, we created 640,329 jobs. Well, how much did each of those jobs cost? Well, the total cost per a job, and keep in mind most of these jobs are temporary, like working on bridges and other things like that, 303750 dollars per a job. Now you give me $304,000 and I'll employ someone, you know, I can't, $303,750 per a job. And we think this is somehow going to help our economy? Hmm. Well now that we see how not great the so-called stimulus was to save our jobs, Let's look at the national debt and figure out how we're going to pay for this. All right? So, as of 2000, the national debt was $5.4 trillion. In 2004, it went to 7.5. In 2008, it was 10.6. Then, from January to November, it became $12.4 trillion. And it's projected by the end of 2009 to be $14.4 trillion. 
well, to help you grasp just how enormous this debt truly is, if you take the total combined profit of all the Fortune 500 companies, all of them, guess how much that would be? It would be $98.8 billion. All the profit of all the Fortune 500 companies would be $98.8 billion for one year. Now, let's say the government takes 100% of that to pay off the debt. How many years would it take as of the debt right now? It would take 145 years. 145 years, taking 100% of the profit from the Fortune 500 companies to pay off the debt we have now, let alone what it's projected to be in the end of 2009, and then it's projected to double after that in the next 10. Are you kidding me? Do we think like little money fairies are going to come out of nowhere and be like, oh, here, have some money, have some money. No! Stop it! And the worst part about it is, this is the lowest book. This doesn't even count all unfunded liabilities. The unfunded liability total is $105 trillion. $105 trillion just for unfunded liabilities. Are you kidding me? Well, I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, Mike, you're crazy. The United States government is just too big to fail. Really? Was GM too big to fail? Was Chase too big to fail? Was Bank of America too big to fail? They all got bailed out. If we're too big to fail, who's going to bail us out? Well, I would hate to see what would happen after Europe and China bail us out. I don't think it would quite be what we wanted. Maybe we'd form one of those one world economies or Maybe we'd all, workers of the world, unite, you know, like Andy Stern and SEIU want us to do. Who knows? All i got to say is, that's not the America I want to see. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. I really had a fun making this one, and I think this is going to be one of our best ones yet. I mean, I just, I just can't comprehend how they think this is going to help us in any way, shape, or form. I mean... If anyone, I, I don't even care. Katie Couric, The Young Turk, Keith Overman. I don't care who the hell it is. I just want someone to explain to me how this makes sense besides in, like, Bizarro Lulu world. How does this make any logical sense at all? All right, so I want to end the show with an article I just read from Fox News. So basically it talks about how SEIU is suing a city because they allowed a Boy Scout to clear a park path for his um, Eagle Scout project, and SCIU is claiming that the city should have hired 39 workers to clear it instead of allowing him to voluntarily clean it. They could have put 39 people to work. Wow. Are you kidding me? So now we have to pay people to do things that people volunteer to do, even when they're openly volunteering to do it. Oh, I so hope they lose that lawsuit. Well, guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.